Hello and welcome to the topic displacement. This is lecture 2 for unique properties of language. Throughout our discussion, we will have the reference of the study of language by George Ewell, 5th edition. Displacement. Let's first have an example to understand the concept of displacement. When you ask your pet cat, where were you last night? The cat will reply, meow. You are likely to understand this message of cat speaking to you, meow, because communication between you and the cat has taken place in the background of immediate time and place. But if you ask the same cat, where were you last night and what were you doing? The cat will have the same response, meow. What we understand through these two examples are that animals are not capable of communicating expressions such as last night, over in the park, tomorrow, yesterday and so on. Thus, animal communication is almost exclusively designed for this moment, here and now. An animal cannot effectively be used to relate events that happened in the past or that are far removed in time and place. Such a property of human language is known as displacement. So, displacement refers to past and future time and to other locations. It allows the users of language to talk about things and events not present in the immediate environment, that is to say, not happening at the time of speaking. Animal communication is generally considered to lack this property of language. It enables us to talk about things and places whose existence we cannot even be sure of. We can refer to mythical creatures, demons, fairies, angels, and recently invented characters such as Superman. It is the property of displacement that allows the human unlike any other creature, to create fiction and to describe possible future worlds. That's all. In the next lecture, we will talk about arbitrariness. Thank you and goodbye.